Hi, I am Julia of Julia K Art Studio and today I thought I was going to take a little bit of a wander down the colour pencil trail. Yeah. Um, I I mean, I think we all know colour pencil, we are all pretty familiar. It's one of those art supplies that we start out with. Um, and for me, that has given me sort of like a a false sense of security. Like, I know what this is. You sharpen them, you draw with them, it's fine, you know? Um, but I have to say that as I have grown and sort of um, gotten deeper into the pit that is art supplies, uh, I sort of strayed away from colored pencils because I feel like they are too advanced for me. And uh, it's just until like very recently relatively speaking, that I have sort of dared to to jump back in to the pool of coloured pencils. Um, so today I thought I'm going to dive a little bit deeper, try to make like an, um, more of an art piece or artwork uh, using the coloured pencils as a medium and not just um, how I use them today. The way I use colour pencils sort of in my day-to-day -day artwork are more to add finishing touches, maybe doing some underpainting or under sketching I should say. Um, so yeah, and we're going to do that with this. So let's start by uh, looking a bit closer at the Castle Art colour pencils. Okay, so we're here to try out the Castle Art 52 uh, color set. And I got the 52 that comes in this little pouch. Now, the first thing I have to say about it is the smell. It smells quite strongly and quite like chemically. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know if that is from from Castle or if it's because I got them from of Amazon so maybe it could be like how they were stored I don't know but I thought I would to mention it because um, I'm quite sensitive to smell and uh, yeah <laughs> but so we have this case it comes with this little belly band with some really cool artwork um, yeah, premium soft touch color pencils. They're wax based. I have looked that up and um, yeah, they are made in the UK. We have some information about the griffin. It's a symbol of power and a guardian of the divine. So there you go. Now inside the case we have we have 12 pens per per side so we start out with a very a lot of yellows uh, we have a nice sort of orange to red here uh, and then going into purple I really really like the purples now pepper purple is one of my favorite colors but I really like especially these two they're very hard to find uh, so I'm really happy about that Really nice selection of blues. We have some really light ones, uh, some cold and some uh, some warm, some really dark ones. We have a very nice selection of greens. The only thing I would say is that we have um, three greys and three browns. I mean, you could go in here and say that these on the yellow side are a bit more brown, but yeah, so that is my only thing. I mean, me personally, I think I would have swapped out a few of the yellows for a few of the browns, but you know. Um, but that is it. So you get a lot of pencils. They all come here pre-sharpened. I have started to play around with them a little bit, swatching them. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I'm not, I mean, I like the pens on the, the flippy sides, but it's really, um, because it has sort of like a lip um, it's a bit tricky to get them out so what I have done is just 
folded down the sides here to make it a little bit easier to pull them out and to put them back in again. Another thing, they seem to sharpen really well. They hold a nice point, soft, but without being just like crumbly. Um, the pens themselves, really nice to hold. Uh, they have like a nice black, soft. We have the name in silver together with a number, castle art here, and then soft touch. Um, so yeah, I mean, I do prefer pencils that have the same color the whole way. I find it easier, but they do have a pretty big size that is colored, so that makes it quite easy. Um, I have found that the color represents the actual color quite well. Now, of course, it's not the same because this is not color with colored pencils, so it can't be exact, but I think it's really good and, and very, fairly close. Um, so yeah, overall, I think they're really nice, what, I've, uh, what I have started to notice from them. And um, yeah, I can't wait to start playing with them some more. Uh, also in this case, we have a little brochure of some other things you can get from um, Castle Art Inch. So yeah, and here we have the, uh, the colors that are, I would imagine, all of them, like in all of the ranges. So yeah, that's really nice. If you're thinking about looking into that. And then we also have this colored pencil tutorial in five easy steps, stages, sorry. And I think this is such a fun idea. So here we have step by step to paint the griffin that is on the sort of cover art. I think that is a brilliant idea to really get you started, you learning something new and really um, showing the pencils to to do what they do best. And then again we have just some info about the other things. So I am working on doing a colored uh, page in a coloring book like this just to see how they work coloring so I can compare to the pencils I already have. But I also really want to do this griffin because it just seems so much fun. So what I'm going to do is I have my sketchbook here. It is um, yeah, I'm just going to put the information up on the screen. I don't remember. <laughs> it's from Amazon. It's made from recycled paper. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try to make my best sort of griffin here on the page. And then we're going to follow this step by step. And hopefully we will end up with a griffin looking somewhat like this. Okay, so we have our little griffin here. It doesn't look exactly the same, but I did my best. Um, yeah, we have. I have a lot more space over the belly here. And also I have a smaller eye in the head. The wings are not the same, but you know, it's the idea anyway, so. And we do have quite the big selection here of yellow. Um, yeah, so from what I can tell, they have quite a light yellow. Uh, maybe, I'm not a color pencil artist, so oh, I want to keep this one out so we can, so we can see what we are doing. Uh, let's start with the lightest one. And we're going to color in his little claws, talons. I don't know what you call it. Claws, okay. And then this whole thing is going to be yellow. Now I have only done this with pencil or the, the sketch or the drawing, so I'm not sure. It looks like it will move the lead a little bit, but yeah, okay. It goes down really nicely, this one. And I think you can hear, hear Albert. Oh, but... Oh, so it's supposed to have like scales, but that wasn't drawn in in the first sketch. Okay. 
Let's see here. Let's see, we have the... Good. Now, let's continue. <laughs> Here and he's yellow. I'm just afraid I will smudge the whole thing by the time I'm done. So I do have some issues with my my hands for different reasons, but when it comes to using color pencil as a medium to to draw with, my right thumb has a bit of an issue gripping, so but it feels really nice because it lays down fairly easy. It uh, it works pretty nicely. Okay, so I'm going in with cad cadmium yellow light because it looks like the tips of the wing are are darker. So I'm thinking about adding that. Going in with with lemon yellow to sort of blend it out, and then come back with lemon yellow light yeah so yeah I have never well I do actually I was going to say I've never worked with color pencils before I have but very very little I think it's a very a very fantastic medium but I think it's the same problem I have with oil pastels and oil in general it's the I feel like you really have to know what you're doing before you start and I feel like I don't know what I'm doing so when it comes to this like what colors I should use what techniques I should use to build up an image so I just uh, I keep two wash of color <laughs> um, but I do really enjoy learning new stuff and uh, that's why I picked up this set I do have a set of polychromos that I really really love um, but I just felt like it would be really fun to have a, a complete set, sort of, with pencils and see what I could do, could do with that. I was going to say getting close, but this is just step one. Now this is divided in five steps. Um, I feel like, as a very, very new person to colour pencils, as an art medium, uh, I think I would have... I would, I would not have minded a few more, breaking it down a little bit, but I think it's a really fun idea to have the a little tutorial with the pens to really get you started. I feel like that is a very good idea. Oh, I think I need this one to sharpen a little bit. I'm using the Tegal sharpener and I have it on maybe a four. very nice yeah I feel like that is all I can do for now let's move on to step number two. Oh, stay oh three of course Duh. and it looks to be just like some light cool blue let's see what we can pick out that looks that would match cobalt turquoise so we have a very light layer here on top of his head I'm going in very lightly and it looks like it's almost a blending okay so looking here um, it's definitely darker here like on the other side of his belly moving down his legs yeah I'm starting to think I should have that I could bring in a another pencil yeah I'm going to go in with um, the sky blue I think just making sure he has some shadows on his feet and where I think there should be shadow I know I know I know I shouldn't be thinking myself I should just do what they say that I should be doing Oh, okay, I think we are almost at where we need to be. The talons on the front should be blue. Okay, 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> now start adding details and form using rich golds and browns. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot of hand holding here, is it? Okay, well, let's continue with the blue because we're still here, I suppose. Uh, I pull out a darker blue. There is ultramarine light. And let's see if we can. Oh, gosh. What we can do with this? The thing is, I don't really. I don't really know. I think we need to go darker. Famous last words. We have a Delft blue. When it comes to watercolour, Delft blue is one of my favourite pigments. Well, Delft blue, it's uh, like Antichronoid blue, PB60. I love this one. It's my friend. Okay, and if I go back now with the one I started with, which was Cobalt Turquoise. Oh. I mean, I don't get as smooth of a result, but I don't know, maybe I just need some more layers. It's not looking good, is it? Yeah. I mean, maybe later on when we go in more like with the super details, but yeah, for now I'm not really too sure about it. Okay, I, I think we need to move on so we don't get too stuck on the head because super dark shadows here to be talents. And then when I watch videos on YouTube on how to how to do color pencils, they all do it differently. <laughs> Imagine that. But some start with a dark color and some start with a light color and I'm like, okay, can you just like tell me what I should do? But I suppose it's the same as watercolour. You just need to find the right way for you. But it would be really nice if somebody somebody could just like, you know, tell you what, what the right way is. On the other hand, if there was a right way, I suppose, we wouldn't have artists, so... Oh, that's bad. Oof. Mm. I mean, I'm really, I'm struggling. <laughs> no. But I am trying, so. I really am, I promise. I think it's the the turquoise that is just too too blue in comparison to the rest of the blues that is throwing me off a bit. But if I switch out that one for cerulean blue instead, maybe that will will go better. Um, hopefully. So we have a really dark here where the wings sort of shadow the body. So I'm going in with my darkest one now and see if I like that better. Uh, and if I want something even darker, it looks like they've gone in with black and I think that is the only thing I can do because I don't really have a another color that is so dark that it could make a difference. So, I 
think that is my my only option. Okay, so I'm trying to deepen up the area here and I think I need to do that with black because I don't know what else to do so I'm going in with a little bit of I don't like to use black really but I don't know what else to do in this situation where I don't have anything else that is that dark let's see if we if that is good enough I think that made the difference that we needed I would just have to use the black on the other places too so we have the same tonal value I don't want to go into too much with it, so I try to do it sparingly. Okay, let's see, we have that thing here. Okay, I'm going in with sky blue for my lightest one. I think that is my best option. We're going to work a little bit here. Uh, yeah. Trying to see where the, all the highlights are going to be. If we can save them a bit. I mean, even though I'm having a little bit of a hard time with this, I'm not going to lie, it is, oh yeah, I'm having a hard time. Um, it's quite enjoyable. I mean, the pencils are really nice. Um, the pencils are, are not giving me any problems at all. They're going down very, very nicely on top of each other. Um, and I feel like I can add more layers than... I might even need. Well, I say need, I don't really know what I need, do I? So, but yeah, they feel very nice. Um, it's just that I can't, uh, I don't seem to be able to get it, get it right. But I suppose that is why you practice, so that is what we are doing. <sighs> and then I think what's throwing me off a bit is the fact that I can see so much white, white of the paper like texture of the paper, whereas here you can't see anything of it. Uh, and I think that might be throwing me off too. It looks like very, very smooth compared to what I'm working on. So it might be that too. 
so trying to just keep that in mind as I'm doing this. So on this side we don't need the black because we don't have that dark of a shadow. The highlights are not as good but I feel like I'm not good enough to, to do that so I will just have to do what I can. Uh, Okay, so um, I feel like if we are finished with the blue for now. We'll come back to that later. Let's just uh, move on to the sort of belly and the wings. You can see that here. And it looks like we have some uh, golds and browns as they describe it. So what I have decided to do is pull out yellow ochre light, cadmium yellow, cinnamon and burnt umber and we'll see if we need something else but I feel like that is the colors I can see based on the little thing here um, so let's start over here with the wings and uh, yeah let's see what we can do I'm trying to work on the pressure so I have more pressure down here where it looks like it's darker and then lighten it up so that we can we still have the brown but not too much but I don't think there is black here but like I said uh, uh, I'm not sure and then we have here too Now I know that colour pencil artists use different techniques to get their art looking like very well blended and smooth but I don't think I have any of those at hand. This one is not really wanting to... Let's see if we, if we sharpen it what happens. Oh yeah, that was a big difference. I have watched a few videos about these pencils because, you know, and one said that it had a bit of problems, that it didn't feel like it was as uh, pigmented as the other pencils, but then when they sharpened them, it was a different story. Uh, and this person said that, um, believed it could be the coating on the pens when it comes from the factory. So, yeah, I have no idea, uh, but yeah, it seems very reasonable, so, because they go down very nicely now, so. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good, actually. I mean, when I look in the viewfinder, I get a bit of a different perspective, and, um, yeah, but there is a lot of wings. So yeah, let's um, let's get cracking on that, shall we?
So day two and um, yeah, I mean, when I come back today, I feel like I can definitely, um, I see it a little bit clear. I do, I don't think it looks as terrible as I sort of think. I think that when you're working on something so uh, with color pencils, because you work in such small areas all the time, you sort of focus in on that. The whole looks, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it, it doesn't look as good as this, obviously, but I think that it looks sort of good. Now, however, now we haven't done like the final touches and we haven't done the belly of it, but I can definitely tell here this sort of wing portion. I feel like on mine it looks very undefined. That is something I can go in with and sort of try to define a little bit more. Um, I definitely see that this portion, the sort of, I don't know, belly belly fur and the legs, I think I should have drawn that out a little bit, but that's, we can't do anything about that now, so. But that is something I'm, I'm seeing. Uh, but on the whole, I think it looks fairly, fairly good for somebody who is not experienced with colored pencils. I do want to add even more depth and darkness in the wings. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to continue on. We finished around here yesterday. So I'm just going to continue with the pens that I had pulled out. And um, yeah, so I think these are the ones I pulled out. Yellow ochre light, burnt amber, cadmium yellow, cinnamon, sepia, terracotta. Um, now, when it comes to adding more darkness, I'm not sure. I do have the black, but I feel like I'm not really that crazy about... Here I have used the black in the, in the blue. Um, but I'm thinking to go in with like a really dark purple or something in the yellow and seeing what kind of result we will get. So I'll just chug along, do the belly and then and then we'll we'll see how to finish this one off. I think that is our best our best bet. Okay, so I think that is as far as I can get. Um, now, I do really want to deepen up some areas, especially on the wings here. Uh, and I'm thinking if I should go with just black or if I should try, try another. Now, okay, when I look here, I feel like... This one is just straight, so let's see if we can fix that. I'm going in with ultimately marine light. Just trying to... Well, of course I will be green if we go in with Delphi Blue too. Ah, uh, it's a little bit better, I suppose, but yeah, and then I have like a curve here and they don't. So let's see if we can just, I mean, these are the stuff you're supposed to fix before you do add color, but yeah. Okay, so I do think the eye turned out pretty good. Um, but I do definitely want to add in more here. So, okay, let's just see if we can go in with the burnt amber and see how much detail we can, we can get just with this one. And see if that is enough. I mean, they do lay really nicely. I mean, I don't know. I keep saying that because I'm not a pencil artist, I feel like I'm not familiar enough with the medium either, but they do layer really nicely. 
Okay, that made a huge difference. Okay. That's good. And then this will have to go out to shadow these sort of scales we have here. And I have noticed, especially here on the scales, I started with the darkest and then went over with lighter and lighter. And I feel like that really dulled down the uh, this darkest part. But I don't know if that is a good or a bad thing because that shows that the lighter uh, pencils still can go over on top of the darker. And I think that is really good. Uh, of course, it's annoying in this case, but... Yeah, I think that is really good. I think it's just a matter of learning, learning that kind of stuff. So. Okay. And I don't really need to press, press that hard. Albert, he is, he's working around. I don't really know what he wants. I don't think he knows what he wants. He's just bored. <laughs> Maybe if I go with a lighter orange, um, the red I have on the scales is the terracotta. But if I go in with like a lighter orange maybe, so if I go in with Orange Lake number 16 maybe. But I have learned my lesson, I really need to sharpen them. They are very nice. I have the lightest of pressure right now but I still get, I still get really nice results. Which is really nice, especially today my hands are not, they're not fine, I mean, well they are fine, but they're just not very good. But I can go over here and very, very lightly add colour. So I love that. That made a big difference, just this super, super light layer. I think I want to go in just on the tips of, I call it the belly fur, I don't know really what it is, but super super lightly and I'm trying to hold the um, hold the pen quite high up so I don't like it add I can add a lot of pressure so very very lightly uh, and and the claws too yeah I feel like I want a little bit of yellow just like where the head goes into the belly I feel like we need a little bit of yellow there I just, oops, just here, adding some definition. Okay, and then if we go in, should we go, I feel like I want to go in with black anyway, just because I want to bring in the black from the blue of the body. And now I wish I had shortened the body so it would have ended like that the body would have ended here. I feel like that would have made a better curve. Anyway, we can't dwell on that now. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the black, but I'm going to add the tiniest bit. I feel like that made a big difference. Okay, so I'm going to add that to the scales and then we'll come back. I feel like I have learned a lot doing this. It was really fun. Of course, it would be nice um, if you got some way. I mean, I feel like you could like photocopy it and like blow it up or something. But I mean, it's it's not the this that is important. Is the the coloring of it, um, and. I have never drawn anything like this in this style, so that was really fun too. I feel like I have got quite a lot of dimension and depth to it. Um, and it was really, really fun. I mean, colored pencil is, like I have said so many times, not a medium I am very familiar with to 
how to create art with so it's it's really really fun to explore and it was really fun that you got the pencil and you got a chance to really to really explore them and um, even though I feel like especially between three and four it's like it's a massive but on the whole I think it's a really really fun idea that you can create something uh, close to to this and yeah um on the whole I am super super happy with my purchase I think I'm going to leave this little thing in here with the sketchbook so just so I know like where this random thing comes from so that was me working with a castle art uh, colored pencils and yeah the thing is that I had this video all filmed and all ready but when I finally set it down to edit it because it was a pretty massive task adding in that uh, sort of draw along with me part um, I have had a chance to work even more with these pencils and what I wanted to do was I really wanted to test them out more in the setting of how I typically use colour pencils. So like I've said, I really want to improve my skills and I thought the best way to do that is just by drawing with them a lot more. So what I decided to do was just to, <laughs> to get a colouring book. And I felt like that way I don't need to think about what it is. All I need to think about is how colour layers, different techniques, what colours go with each other because with watercolour I sort of know how to mix and get the colours I want, how to layer and and all of that but with colour pencils it's a whole different thing with how you layer and how you mix. So I thought that would be a really good idea. So I just grabbed one from Amazon. So I started out with Polychromos. This is a collection I started many years ago and just slowly adding more and more to them. Um, started out with the colours I felt like I needed, adding more, I felt like I needed more yellow, so added more yellow, felt I needed more green, added more green, you get the thing. And the colours that I've used the most I have bought again and replaced. So I feel like I, I know these pencils because I have used them and slowly got to know them one by one. And those are the pencils I have used uh, mostly working in this. So I felt like I had a very good idea of how I felt like a good coloured pencil would work. I mean Polychromos is a very high quality pencil and that's why I've taken such a long time to build it up. So when I decided to get the, the Castle Art coloured pencils I felt like of course I wanted to do them more in like an artwork and I felt like the Griffin was a really fun idea but I also wanted to do uh, at least one if not more pages in this book just to see how they compare to the experience of uh, colouring with the polychromos. And that's where the, uh, <laughs> the time thing came in where I felt like I can't, I felt like I needed to add more to the video or hence me filming this because the um, because of how I felt when I had finished the Griffin, I had worked on that for a few hours during two days. Uh, I really liked the pencils. I, I felt like they were smooth, they layered well, uh, vibrant, really good colours, uh, easy to work with and all of that. Uh, so that is the final thoughts I had after that. But after doing more pages in this, I'm going to show you... Um, for example, I did this one. I know the colours is not very good on, on camera. Um, and it's not like my most perfect work colouring wise, but I just wanted to see how they layered on top of each other and how they look. Um, I really liked it. I felt like it was a really good experience. I felt like I could layer and layer and the colours had a really strong payoff. They were really nice. But something I noticed more and more, the more I worked with them, the more pages I did in this book and also when I did something, like drew something else with them, is that some of the colours just crumbled. 
So I have an example here, just on the first page. You can see there are a few that are super short. And that's not because I've used them very much. That is because they have just crumbled when I have tried to sharpen them. Um, and I thought that maybe I'm using the wrong sharpener, so I've tried different. But they are just very, very crumbly, some of them. And it feels like you hit a point where it just crumbles and then you hit like a more solid piece of the ledge and it's fine for a while and then it just crumbles. Um, I can't say it's the same for all of them, but especially you can see here on the red side, there are a few that are very, very short. So that is something I was very, that I felt like I didn't discover enough of when I was working that I really felt like I wanted to mention because because you can't get them or I anyway can't find any way to get these pencils just one by one uh, for example here I have one that is uh, scarlet red I mean it's I have hardly used this pencil I just wanted to sharpen it as a point when I got it because they were sharpened and then it had a flat point. So I just wanted it sharpened um, and I ended up with this. So if I were to want to use this one, should I buy a whole new 72 pe um, pen set? I mean that is just, yeah, so that is something I feel very strongly is a big negative. Um, now the price point of these are not very high to begin with, but I feel like they should not be that crumbly. I still think that they are, have a really good payoff, they're smooth to color with and, and all of that. They are very nice to work with, but just the fact that some of them crumble so much is, is a big deal. Um, so yeah, I mean, if they were sold one by one, it wouldn't be as big of a deal because you could just replace them and hope to get a better, a better pencil with a better piece of lead in it. But yeah. So anyway, I feel like that is it. Uh, on the whole, um, I feel like they were very nice to work with. Um, they're very, I mean, apart from the problem with sharpening them and they crumbling. Now this is not all of them, of course. Some of them just sharpened really well. Um, but yeah, I felt like they were very nice. They are organized in a way, so all of them have a number. So they go from 0, 0, 1 to 0, 72 all the way. So when you pull them all out, they're very easy to organize again. Um, I do feel like, I think I said in the beginning that I felt like a very, very good variety. Um, but that I was missing browns and greys and I really do. I feel like the greys are very nice. We have a warm grey, a cool grey and then a darker cool grey. The browns, I, I just need more, I feel like. And also I have found that the greens, most of the greens are very blue green and very unnatural green. Um, so I usually use mostly these greens, so, but I feel like these are all very, very similar. So there is also something, um, but yeah, and also there are not a lot of red. We have uh, one that is like a true red vermilion here, which I, in my mind, vermilion is, should be more to the orange side. This one is definitely like spot on in the middle almost cool leaning um, so we only have one red that is warm leaning which is the one that just crumbled for me uh, so we only have those this one is definitely more pink and on the other side we have one that is Indian red that is a dark red and then we go straight into purple uh, whereas on the yellow we have a lot of yellows that look very very similar so yeah, um, so the color selection could be a bit worked on, but I mean, that depends. If you love painting yellow flowers, this is perfect. So, I mean, it always depends on what it is. Now, uh, something else I just wanted to mention is that there is a difference working with a pre-put together set versus a set you put together yourself. Um, 
I love working with my polychromos because I know all of them. Because I have bought them one by one. When I've got them, I have swatched them, I have worked with them, and slowly build up a sort of a relationship where I know how they look and how they layer with other colors because I have done a lot of groundwork. When you get a set that is so big, 72 pencils, um, you get them all at once, it's even though you have, if you have a good understanding of color, it just isn't the same. So that is something I feel like it doesn't really matter how good you are, you still want to have that same understanding of the set or the colors because you, you, you start with all of them at once. Uh, so I think in general I always give the advice no matter what kind of art supply you start with is start small, start with as few colors as you possibly can really and get to know them and then bring in one or two at the time. Uh, for me that has worked very well both with the polychromos, I have done that with my uh, more expensive watercolors, with gouache, um, and I feel like when I do that, even though I want to buy all the colors at once, uh, I feel like I get a better understanding for the colors I have got. So that is something, on the whole, would I recommend the castle art? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a really good set. Uh, I feel like the coming in a case is very, very practical. Uh, on the whole, I think the colors have a good payoff. They're smooth to color with, and they are worth it. It's just that crumbly. I, I really wish they weren't so crumbly, but apart from that, I really like them. Um, and I had really fun diving into colored pencils and working on like a proper piece with colored pencils. It really, um, it was really fun and very sort of eye-opening on how, how to layer colors. Uh, I would definitely want to do more and dive deeper and I feel like the more I do this kind of sort of exploring new art materials, the more likely I am to go to the art materials I already have and sort of looking them in a new way. And I find it really, really fun to sort of step back and say, no, 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 I don't know anything about watercolor. Teach me. Um, and sort of that with colored pencils saying like, I know how I do it. How do you do it? And I feel like I am more willing to learn. I feel like a few years ago, I wouldn't have been so willing to, to learn. Uh, I think I have, uh, have become a bit more humble or learned that I don't know anything, you know? And uh, yeah, I just really enjoy learning. And now I'm wishing like, I wish I had more art supplies. I don't know anything about so I can just learn more. Um, but yeah, I think it's really fun. And I'm definitely thinking about doing some, uh, some other video where I've done with the, with the oil pastels or something uh, where I'm just learning. So on the whole, I had so much fun doing it with colored pencils. I can't wait to do any, like, do more with them. And uh, yeah, I hope you have liked this video. <laughs> I know it turned out a little bit longer than I had planned, but I just wanted to make sure that I covered all the things that I was thinking about and that I was truly honest with my opinions with it. So yes. Thank you so much. I hope you have liked it, that you felt like you could do something too. Maybe you can draw a better griffin than I can. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much and uh, I hope to see you on Saturday for a new vlog.